That is thick. Oh my god. Oh. Bro. I'm gonna die. But in this video, I nearly fucking died. <laughs> Following footage isn't a joke, and I really wish this was clickbait. But as you guys know, nothing's clickbait on this channel. This is as serious as it can get on this channel. This is the day where I'll probably kill myself. Do not try this at home. So for this video, I literally need very few items. One, I need a microwave. Two, I need polyfiller that goes rock solid. This stuff's used to plaster walls, yeah, in replacement of like concrete and plaster, basically. I also need a breathing tube and a bucket to mix the polyfiller ingredients up into. So the process, right, I'm gonna be burying my head in the microwave. I'm putting my head in there. I don't know what I'm doing. Ramel's gonna be making the mass, like, a mass produce of this polyfiller in the bucket. And then afterwards, you're gonna be tipping all the polyfiller into the microwave until my head sets in there. This is gonna be helping me breathe under there. So I, this will be coming out of the microwave from my mouth like this. So I can actually breathe under there. I also need to put a bag over my head. What am I doing? I've just realized what I'm doing. Why am I gonna be walking around with a microwave on my head? First thing we need to do, yeah, is fill that bucket. Mad. The first stage of this, right, we've got to empty all this dust. Luke, bro, what? Luke's in there, bro. Oh, Luke, uh, not you again. Old fuck. Come on, Luke. Not yeah. again, Luke. Once this is all in there, we just add water. Once we add the water, it becomes like a paste, and then that dries. So I'm probably going to have to wait in like the microwave for an hour, two hours, until it completely sets. I'm so scared, my heart's beating because I've, I've got claustrophobia really bad. This is the worst case scenario. This is worse than being buried alive. I'm probably gonna have this much space to move my nostril, bro. I'm gonna be like this instead of. So I'm gonna give it a shy mix. It's like milk, it's like gone off milk. You now, when you leave your cup of tea on the side for three weeks. Okay, guys, here's the life motto if you've got a prevention, you don't need a solution. It's in my eyes. That is thick. You know what that smells like? That smells like DJStore.com tomorrow night at 9pm. Or if you're watching this on Friday, the 8th of December, clothing's on sale tonight at 9pm. Get yours. <laughs> Nearly there. Nearly there. Yo, guys, sorry if it's a bit close here. We've got the 35mm lens on, so everything's just zoomed in. Quality of this lens is mad, but this guy's like mixing it all up now. My arm, like, got a bit sore. Bro, there's something. What are you gonna Who's getting punched up then? I'm gonna come to everybody's house and punch you up. Okay, guys, so I actually don't need the door to the microwave because obviously I'm not gonna close my head in there because the door won't actually be able to shut because my neck will be in the. There we go. <laughs> this bag is gonna be going on my head, right? Just so I'm gonna show you guys how I'm gonna breathe. This goes on my head like that. This tube gets poked through this hole. Just so I can breathe. The cement will be all around my head. I can breathe perfectly flying through this. It's literally like a snorkel. But for now, I'm gonna try and figure out a way I can balance my head in there perfectly. So I was gonna do a handstand and put my head in there, but all the blood will rush to my head and I'm definitely gonna die. And we've also got our spectator. Karen, she's gonna be helping us today. Karen's a bitch, you know. That's perfect, love. Yep. We got this, we got this. What am I doing, Joe? You're literally spreading my coffin for me. That is so thick. Um, I've got a dead of trim then, Luke's at the moment. Look at the lineup. Look at the fade. We're gonna insert the oxygen tube. Can you breathe on? Mm-hmm. Wow. Yeah. It's time to go in. Please do not try this yourself. Like, please don't try this. Oh my gosh. Are you okay? Guys, as you can see, yeah, Jay's in there. I don't know how long, guys, but Jay's gonna be stuck there for about two hours. 
Do you think it's worth me getting the hairdryer? Yeah, yeah. Guys, I think I've got to take a trip to Asda and get a hairdryer so that this can be solidified faster. So Jay's not in this position for about 10 years. The blood might rush to his head and he, he might feel some type of way. And I don't need conscience of my friend getting mashed down. Be right back. I'm going to get a hairdryer. Oh, you can't blink. No. <laughs> Yo, guys, I'm back from Asda and I got the hairdryer to try and speed things up. <laughs> oh my, bro, that's solid. That is solid. Oh my God. Oh my God. <laughs> bro that's so mad bro you're facing the wrong way <laughs> what's up now yeah so at this point i took my last breath that i physically could that being because the front of my face was covered with like bricks and like solid plaster. I literally took my last breath and waited for a Mel or Brandon to clear it for me. <laughs> so at this point, Ramel and Brandon didn't actually realize that the microwave was stuck to my head, which was making this situation 10 times harder for me. I was panicking and I was telling them I'm about to die, like I'm about to die and this wasn't a joke. Well, that's kind of hard to translate to your friends that you're about to die and you exaggerate as much as I do to a point when I graze my knee, I'll tell them I'm about, I'm about to die. I'm gonna die. Jay, no, you're Jay, not, Jay, man. Jay, 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 sit down, sit down, sit down, sit down. No, 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 don't kill it, don't kill it. Okay, right, right, break it all in. Oh my God. Bro. Get something to break this to me. Bro, this looks solid. Bro, it's fucking rock. I need to breathe through here. His head's not coming out. No, my head's stuck. This oh, thing is so God. heavy. Bro. As long as I can breathe, I'm good. Yeah. That's solid. Bro, bro, reassure me, bro. I'm panicking. Yeah, no, no, no. You're fine. You're fine. Thank all of it. There we go. I can feel like now. So you need something sharp. That's not good enough. Okay, uh. We don't want to stab him, bro. I'm so scared. That's what I was trying to do. I was trying not to stab him. <sighs> Yo, I think the stuff's expanding. It's crushing your head. Jake made the 999 call and he he asked for the fire brigade and an ambulance to be here as soon as possible. Hi. Uh yeah, that he's breathing. Um so he has a microwave stuck to his head. I know this sounds like a prank call, but he was trying to film a YouTube video. Um my friend was trying to do a stunt with a microwave where it, uh, he basically put plaster inside the microwave and then stuck his head in there. Um and now we can't get it off. He's got a breathing tube. Yeah, so the microwave is stuck to his head with the plaster in there and it's basically expanding and kind of crushing his yeah. head. That response is the fastest thing I've ever heard. Sake. Fire Brigade spent the next hour and a half chiseling, hammering and cutting away a microwave from Moscow. Now, now my thoughts are, I don't know if you've got a Dremel or something like that, is to Dremel the exterior of the microwave. It's all welded together, so we can't we unscrew what we can unscrew, but the rest is welded. There we go, see his chin now. There we go. So, where's, you filled it with concrete, is that right? Yeah, no polyfiller. Yeah. Hang on, move them. Right, I've got, yep. You got the, <laughs> got the microwave. I'm going to so, yeah, yeah, put him on a... Oh my God. Okay, that's good. Okay, keep it on. Careful, because there's lots of metal shots. Okay. Then after a very long process of doing this, they finally got me out and I've never appreciated life so much, ever. Oh, oh my goodness! Yeah. <laughs> oh my god, I love you guys, man! Oh, <laughs> <yeah>. <laughs>
Thank you very, very much to the paramedics and the fire brigade for helping me get out. And also a big thank you to Ramel and Brandon and Jake. If it wasn't for you guys, I'd literally be dead right now. I would be I wouldn't be here. Thank you very much for watching. I love you all. Um, and I'll see you tomorrow for the next Christmas calendar. Hopefully something more positive tomorrow. Bye!